All right, welcome back to the channel. It's Sam here with GSK Wealth Builders. Today, one of the miners came in. It's a rack miner, so I'm just gonna show how simple it is to set it up. So I'm just gonna unbox it here. Well, I'm gonna keep it standing up. So this is an Emirate one, so they actually come with instructions. And the box is like this. It's a rack miner too. So you're gonna take out the rack miner. You're gonna take out the, uh, the power cable. So this is the power cable. Obviously you should put it close to where you're gonna be putting it. So this one's just gonna sit in the, in the window for now. It's not gonna go outside. I don't have any special antennas. We're just gonna use the regular antenna. So you plug it in. Let's see where the plug is right there. I'm gonna plug it in after I connect the antenna. So I believe this is like the two or three DBI antenna. And that's the setup right there. So now what happens is when you plug it in, it's automatically going to go into, what's it called, pairing mode. So it goes into pairing mode for about five minutes. So when you plug it in, you have five minutes to set it up with your phone. You should already have the Helium app good to go. Right, you should have the Helium app good to go. And then there's a button that says set up hotspot. So I'm gonna do that right now. So first I'm gonna plug it in. So I've plugged the miner in and you can see there is a red and a green light. So now I'm sitting it, I'm just sitting the miner on the window. Sitting the miner on the window still, and I'm gonna go back to my wallet. Right? So you're gonna go to your wallet and you're going to hit set up hotspot. Then it asks you what kind of miner are you trying to set up. So I'm gonna say rack hotspot miner. And then it tells you some instructions, give it a nice view. It says don't hide me. Uh, the building's block signals and it says I've read the guide, so I'm going to say I understand. Now it's going to ask for location permission, so I have to turn that on. I turn it on, now it's asking if the miner is powered up. So plug in the adapter and the rack miner should show a red LED light while, while it's powered on. As we can see, this one shows the red LED light. So now I'm going to say I'm powered up. So now it's going to go to a Bluetooth screen and the Bluetooth screen is going to ask you to pair. So I'm gonna scan for my hotspot. So now it's scanning. Found it already. So one hotspot found. I know this is all uh, in reverse, but one hotspot has been found. So now it says select your hotspot to continue. And now it's connecting the hotspot. So we're only about three minutes in. So now it's asking what Wi-Fi network I should connect to. So now I gotta type in the password. I actually don't know the Wi-Fi password here. It's saying connecting to the network. Yeah. I'll try it again. If this doesn't work, I have to ask my friend what the password is. Something went wrong. Okay, I will be right back. I got to get the password. All right, so we're back. So what happens is once you do the password and it connects, this is what happens with an Emirate. It says the hotspot already has an owner. 
Once it says that, you're done. So all you gotta do now is exit the setup. So there's a button, exit setup. And now you're done, you're back to your main screen. And that's how you set it up. So less than five minutes, the Emirate Miner's good to go. And now as you can see, I set it up right by the window. It's not one of the best setups, but you can improve it over time later on. So that's all I wanted to show. Thank you uh, very much. I know a lot of people were asking for this. I had a little bit of technical difficulties, but we're good to go. So the issue for mine was there was two bands on the router. There was a two point something G and there was a five G one. The password would not work connecting on the two, the two G one. But the 5G one, for some reason, it connected. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe there's a different password for that one, but we're good to go. So um, once again, Sam, GSK Wealth Builders, please like and share the video and subscribe for future videos. One last thing I wanted to add is once you connect the miner, it's when you go on the explorer.helium.com and you type in the name of your miner, it's still going to show as offline and eventually 15, 20 minutes later, it should show as syncing. And syncing, what it's doing is it's downloading every single transaction on the blockchain. So depending on, like, if you get this months from watching this video, it's going to take longer to download the blockchain because there's going to be so many transactions on it. But overall, it's been, like, some, some online miners, 8 hours. Some of them, 24 hours. Some of them, actually, none of them have hit 48 hours yet, so... We'll, we'll track this one and see how long it takes. It will show offline, then it will show syncing, then it will show online. And there's also a, I forget what the name of it, but there's like goals. So it's like goal one, do this, goal two, do that, goal three, do this uh, checklist. So you can just check on the checklist and see where you're at on the checklist. And then we'll go from there. So thanks again, uh, like, and share the, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel.